Okay, this is called the Arctic CT20C cable tester, which is a pretty cool deal. I've had one that just done Cat5 RJ45 for a long time and I've used it a lot. And it has come in very handy to have that. But what this does is you'll see the bottom row of lights are for this side. Split this in half and it's to all of these connectors. All these different connectors. Top row is for this side. Okay. Uh, right here is kind of a configuration. Let you see that just for a second. And here, <laughs> for any better way of putting it, that are your instructions that come with this thing whenever you get one. So, right here, that's the light for the banana jacks that you can test them. And of course, you'll get a ground light if the ground is connected into any of this. So the first thing you do is when you get it set up, turn it all the way to the right, check your battery light. So, yeah, <laughs> your battery's dead and you don't know it, you plug your cables in, you get nothing. You think it's a bad cable? Well, it's not. Dead battery. So it's got a battery check on it. So go all the way back to one, and then what you'll do is plug cables in. So this is a S-Video cable, so I can do this without actually undoing it and so there's four uh, there's two pair or four wires in an S video cable so one two three four of course all the rest of them or nothing because you only have four wires going through and so this is testing pair four or, or wire four from here to here so you got continuity between the two same thing for three two one pretty easy simple deal uh, right here uh, like just a three and a half jack right there one, two, three. Of course, nothing on anything else. You got your three connections. Okay, so say you have an adapter like this. You want to make sure it's working. Well, just plug her up. Plug it in. There you go. Good to go. Let's see take a USB cable so I've never been able to test things you know you, you never know if the USB cable is good or bad or what well now you can test it with this there's four wires in the USB cable so you can run it shows you all four of them are good and let me see where is that let's see here HDMI cables I don't really understand a whole lot about the HDMI cables. I don't know much about them. Uh, I don't know what the test here is all about. And the instructions really don't say anything about them. So I, I know this cable works. So I know it's a good cable. So I don't know why it's the lights are doing that away. If it's some kind of a special HDMI cable or what. But it is what it is. I know it works. That's all that matters to me. And let's see, that's another. Let's see, here is an interesting one. So, USB to Cat5. Now, this is telling you that PN1 arrow pointing over here, pin 1 on the USB is connected to pin 6 on the cat 5. 2 on the USB, which we know there's only 4, is connected to pin 7 on the cat 5. 
3 to 8 and then you got 4 to 2 and then that's it nothing else is connected in now I don't remember what this cable's for so I can't tell you if that's good bad ugly or what but here we go this right here should be a straight through standard patch cable so you got one two four five six seven eight that's it so you know everything is good you got continuity between each one of the uh, the connections each one of the pair now here is a crossover cable And this, I think, I got it at like a yard sale or something with a bunch of other stuff. So I don't really know what it's for, but this right here, you'll see that your lights don't match up up and down. So you know it's not pair to pair. So it's pair one, or it's wire, uh, one to three, and you'll see how everything connects in together. Now the difference in this tester and the cat 5 or rj45 connector that i've used in the past is it just automatically i call it the dancing lights you plug one into one side one into the other side hit the button and your pairs will light up straight in a row you know you got something missed if one light lights up and another one doesn't underneath it so you know you got an issue with your your end so you replace your end and get, get that taken care of um and then it's two-part so you have a small portion that you would connect to one end wherever the end of that cable may be and the other end you connect it to the local part hit the button it's automatically testing you see your lights lighting up one after another on the handheld go to the other end make sure everything's lighting up in order on it you know everything's good so uh, they make this in a two-part which it's kind of expensive it's like uh, th this right here I don't remember what it was, but uh, I was looking at the two-part one, and that's like almost $100 to get it. And I think it's basically this, but split apart into two separate ones so that you can test remotely as well as wherever your, your ends are set up or your terminating ends or whatever. So it's really a great, uh, great tool. Uh, if you've worked on electronics, uh, audio, uh, anything, uh, requiring cables of any sort and you'll know that sometimes you just replace the cable and that fixes your whole problem but with this piece of equipment right here you're able to test it to, to eliminate the the cable as being a problem uh, to begin with and uh, so that can fix a lot of your problems right off the bat you ain't doing a whole bunch of troubleshooting trying to figure out what the deal is when all the time it was just a cable so this is an extremely good uh, device uh, this came from Timu uh, and I want to think it was like 30 something dollars so it's not hugely expensive for what you get out of it you can also test uh, type C uh, which let me see I think I have the USB-C cable just over here <coughs> So here's the USB-C, and there. So see here, pair four, and you have a ground. So you know pair uh, the fourth uh, connector between here and here is also ground, and that's it. So it's it's kind of cool, uh, but always remember that I mean everything is mix and matched however it needs to end up being whatever ends you've got on one end of the cable hooks over here whatever you've got on the other end of the cable hooks over here or if you need to make a custom patch cable for whatever reason going from USB to RJ45 like the other one you saw or uh, who knows any combination that you see here uh, from the different cabling that, that this thing uh, takes I think the there's another version of this. It's like three different versions. 
and uh, some of them do a little bit different cables but this one right here does the most of everything that I've dealt with and have to deal with from time to time so this one is the one that uh, that I got and uh, it works great uh, very 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 pleased with it since I've had it uh, with with the function of it uh, don't know how I've done without it all these years because I have relied on the tester that I have here a quick little story I had uh, used that tester on a job at the rental company I was running all the uh, cat5 cabling in the building uh, for all their cash registers their networking and everything and about a month later I got a call back that they couldn't get crash register number two at the front desk online for whatever reason so I went in and I checked everything tested everything uh, couldn't find an issue uh, I was able to ping the uh, server from the cable uh, everything was seemed to be good I put my tester back on it I'm getting good lights everything's great finally in frustration I took the end off that was at the crash cash register and re-terminated it everything was fine the thing about it is is when I pinged it if I had paid close enough attention I would have seen the high error rate uh, on while it was pinging the uh, server and I'd have realized that it was just a bad connection so these are not a hundred percent you can still get a continuity and not have uh, uh, your error rate say just on the RJ 45s would be so high that you can't get a reliable internet or network connection so they're not infallible but they are extremely useful I, I very very much recommend getting this if you do any kind of troubleshooting with anything anything that you're working with so uh, just as uh, uh, my recommendation uh, which I wish I had some of these cablings here that I could test just because I, I you know power connection and everything but I don't have anything like that and I don't really deal with a lot of the audio stuff about the biggest thing I deal with in relation to that is HDMI and S video which really I, I don't even know things that use S video anymore uh, so that's pretty much it uh, definitely recommend you get it uh, if you don't already have one uh, I would really love to have the other uh, versions of this especially the dual version just to sample and test those but I'm not about to spend the money just for that but uh, anyway I hope you find this helpful thank you and God bless